Hello, it's been a while. I figured maybe I'll start doing some videos again, in case they're of any use to anybody. Uh, I guess we'll still be using advanced steel moving forward for a while anyway. Uh, so basically I have this project and I have to put plates on these lower levels. This has already got a kind of a decking up here. So what I'm gonna do is to the wireframe and I'm gonna to want to split the plate after I copy it so let me just draw a line out here and I'm gonna copy this line to the ends of those beams so instead of you know sometimes I'm not thinking and I'm sure lots of people aren't thinking lots of the time but what happens is I'll end up doing things the long way uh, without really thinking about it so now if these beams were a little longer what you could do is it would be easier than copying these i guess you could just extend the system line out but uh where's the system line on this one all right and there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to instead of copying these plates i need a, a half inch space in between them so what I was going to do without thinking was drag this over a quarter inch and then copy this across, resize them and do all that. Instead, I'm just going to drag this over to the end here. And as we all know what plates, you don't have to pick your direction. It'll just drag it that one way. And here's your plate. And now what I want to do is I'm going to split by line. And now the reason I drew this line out here is because my plate goes past my system line. So if I want to split this plate and I select it here, you can see I get an option for a gap and it's already set to half inch. So put a half inch. Now, if I pick the system line, it's inside this plate. And then if I go this way, it's going to tell me it's not possible to do that. Right. And the reason is because my line has to pass the whole way through. So we're going to go again. We're going to select this. And we're going to just pick a line that passes the whole way across and you can see there's our gap and then same again so so on and so forth just uh keep splitting from these lines and then i guess we'll do some features as well so let me complete this uh And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do our features for around the columns. And, uh, you know, some projects, the guys will just bring plates, but it doesn't really make sense. I tell the guy, I'll just do the drawings. I mean, it's easier for me if he just brings plates, but I mean, it doesn't make sense, right? So let me see. All right, almost there. Alright, so, you know, I'm not sure it's that much quicker than doing it the other way, to be honest with you, but let's see what we got. So, shaded, now we have our plates. As you can see, across the front is fine. Over here, we've got a clash with the column. So, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So, let me... So I'm not going to try and get too technical with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to obviously 2D because it's easier to work in. And then I'm going to just do a rectangular feature. I'm going to do it from the corner to play it. No. I'm actually going to do it from the outside of this column to this plate here. All right. So you can see there we have it now there's no gap there right so if i put in a gap right now so contour i don't know if i want a half inch i'll do a half inch so i'm going to do a half inch gap so the next time i create one there should be a half inch gap now i'm going to drag this over here and there you go now the problem is we have a space here so that's probably not going to work 
So if that's not going to work, then what you want to do is just drag this back over to the column. And there's a half inch space, so that's good. That's going around the column. And now we'll just do the same one again on that plate. Select this corner, go over to the edge of this plate. And now you've created one around the plate with a half inch gap. So that's probably what you want, right? And then you can continue the same way. So over here, now let's see what else you can use. If we come in here, sorry, this was the one I was using, it was off screen. Uh, if you use this one, sorry, if you notice, this one is, uh, we'll just open this so you can see it, sorry. So if you see here, um, this is for plates. This one here is for beams. And this one on the top corner is board. So we want to pick this one. And please identify the object which is to be modified. And then there. So now I've done the same thing. But the problem is it's following the contour of the actual column, not what's visible. So, if we have a look here, yeah, the straight cut is not working. So, the straight cut is just for a vertical cut, right? You can see here. So, what we want to do is we want to delete that one. If you come down here, element contour. Please, the plate that's going to be modified, the object to cut to. So this is now doing basically the same thing. And you can see you can do chamfers. And let's see, zero. So what you can do is you can change them all to chamfers if you want. Or you can do it the other way, I just did it. Contour 0.5. Alright. So that there now is the same thing with a half inch gap. Uh, I don't know if half inch is too much. I think half inch is fine. I'll change it if I have to. So let's see if we do that one again. We can do the plate and then the column. You can see it has not stored what I just previously did. So let's come up here. It's not giving me that option. So that's probably not great right so what i will do is for the next one i'll just go back to that command i'll pick that plate and i'll just use the green square which is the feature and we can do that right and again then we got to do the same the same one again right so we're going to do this rectangle from this corner to here and it's going to give me a half inch space so I'm just going to do it that way. Don't use the other one. It doesn't really work. So you can see now that plate is good. Now these are all the same. So in theory, I think these beam spaces are the same also. In theory, I could copy this over. So let's just see if I delete this. And I copy this over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from the end of the beam. This, these connections are the same, so the end of the beam should be in the same place as this end of the beam. <clears throat> and that appears to be correct. But there's not the same space here, right? So that is not correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Alright, we'll put back in that plate. We'll do the same thing. So, also, while I'm in here, let me just check. Naming phase three. Okay, this is my phase three of the job. This is phase two over here. And this is phase one, and we're doing them backwards. So, okay. So, that's basically what I would do for those plates. Um, before I do anything else, I'm just going to copy this one over. Copy this one 
in the y direction i'm just going to put it over here so i don't have to create another plate over here now you can see there's an issue there that's not on the edge it's too high so those beams i have a problem with those beams so that is a problem that i have created myself i'll fix that in a second the problem is uh because of the bracing i had to put these on centers so if i check these two uh let's see these two end ones which have changed their centers i have moved them incorrectly because i moved them all together and they're a slightly different size one are w8s and the other are w13s or sorry w8 by 13s and w8 by 18s so you can see now it's good and then you want to do the same thing here notch around so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch this out so i'll continue this myself not sure if this is any use to any beginners kind of the best way to do the plates i think <clears throat> and then this phase will be done uh i had something interesting i don't know if anyone is interested in the handrails so these are the handrails that i've done here and uh i might run through the best way in my opinion to do these i'm still open to change i'm not sure i'm doing them the right way to be honest with you. but i'm gonna remove this handrail and maybe i'll do one on handrails and uh how i do handrails at least not the correct way uh anyway let me know if there's anything else anyone needs and uh all right take care